pretty much in a good season form. And I thought in the first half, besides a few of our easy baskets that we gave up, quickly to start the game, that it was just layup city after layup city. Our goal in this game was to cut down the layups, make them beat us with threes and mid-range shots or post moves. Well, that didn't happen. And I thought when we fought, got ourselves back in it, to about eight to ten points, we could make a play. They executed a play down the stretch, and uh, Dolson had a wide open shot like of most of their shots the whole night were wide open. Give them a lot of credit. Their ball movement is great, but their ball skills are great. Before you can have ball movement, you've got to have players that can run that type of offense or run the triangle or run the spread and understand the game. And their kids understand the game a little bit better than mine. They're their guards realize how to post up. They work on it. They do a good job of finding it. And then Dolson just put on a clinic today over my post players. And there was no excuse because I've been in this press room praising my three post players. And tonight, it was all Connecticut. Give their posts a lot of credit. They were doing a great job. It was not a good day for the head coach and it was not a good day for my three post players back there. Our freshmen are having to learn on the fly and that's what this schedule is all about, this is what Italy is all about, and this is what this year will be all about. But eventually we're going to have to become a little bit smarter as a basketball team. And it doesn't matter how hard we play or how fast we run or how high we jump, the game is still played between the ears. And we've got to be able to execute, teach the game better. They had 27 assists out of 32 baskets. That's great teamwork, that's great passing, and that's shooting percentage shots. Our post defense, we were beat all day long. When we three-quartered them, we were beat on the lob pass, but we had no help set. When we played dead behind on them, Dolson just made a good move or found a cutter and they were open. By far, this was the best team of the three we played so far. Now, did we play better today than we did against Penn State? No, but then Connecticut had a lot to do with that. Again, third game in a row, we're shooting 30%. I asked Pratcher, I said, Pratcher, What's the difference between this team and the 2011 team? She says, Coach, we're running the same place. We're not knocking down the shots. We don't have the chemistry that we have, and we're going to have to grow into that. I appreciate the crowd that was here today and the national audience on TV and the recruits that were all here. I'm just sorry that we didn't give television the game that we normally give television, particularly ESPN. We normally give them a great game. But we're going to have to grow up in a hurry. I've got Liberty on uh, Tuesday, so I guess my thought for the day is give me Liberty or give me death on Tuesday. And uh, we're pretty close to death right now, though with three, but we'll rebound with uh, good practice tomorrow. Try to stay positive. Try to not watch as much film on this past game as much as teaching on the floor because it was a clinic and sometimes you don't need to see the Rocky Horror Show more than once. And we felt it today. Questions? First half there when you felt like you were coming back, it looked like maybe you were getting some transition, but yet you end up missing 20 shots first half. Uh, when you look back, do you think you're getting the shots you wanted, or should they maybe pass it one more and settle? What, what do you think? Like, I know you talked about your offense before, but it seemed like the tempo was going your way, but you couldn't get on a, a sustained run. When they did miss and we were starting off in transition, we couldn't score easy. Okay? We just flat couldn't score easy. I think we did have a few fast break points, but most of them, besides one good uh, fast break that Bone scored on, other than that, most of them were uncontested layups. 
but we've got to relax and transition. We're more afraid of getting our shot blocked than of us going up. With their lack of depth, with only 10 players, they're going in with their hands up a lot, and our kids are going in panicking on the shot and changing the shot. Just go up, trust your shot. If you miss it, get the rebound, but don't triple pump with a girl that's not even trying to block your shot. Coach, when you signed Walker, you kind of compared her to Danielle Gann in terms of her ability to do so many different things. And of course, you looked up to Gant being from the same area. How much does she, does she even in the early goings, just so valuable? Seems like you couldn't take her off the court. She plays hard. Yeah. She doesn't take plays off. She gets beat on plays. She makes freshman mistakes. But I can't take her off right now because I've got nobody else that will give me that energy off the bench that will play as hard and as well as her. She's got a nice mid-range game. We've got to execute a little bit better for we do not wear her out. And right now, I'm having to leave her in the game a little bit. 34, 39, and 38 minutes is what she played in three games. That's a record for me for a freshman. And uh, But other kids, they've got the opportunity every day to come in and step up. All you got to do is look at the stat sheet. I gave a lot of other wings out there opportunities, and they didn't deliver. But when you get opportunities, it's not just the shot. It's the pass to the shot. It is the screen. It is a little bit of everything. And we're just not doing the fundamental things that a good basketball team ought to be doing right now. I saw the same thing happen Tuesday night at Waco with the number five team in the nation. Kentucky gets blown out by 40. The exact same thing happened. Now, is Kentucky going to go back and realize what it's going to take to become a good team? And they will. And they're still probably the best in the SEC. But sometimes you got to take a butt kick and, and you got to watch a little bit of film and get back to the practice floor to figure out who you are, what is our identity. If we play the blame game now, we will not get better as a basketball team. We got to have solutions not playing the blame game right now. I mean, shoot, I didn't have kids that knew how to check in without earrings in their ear. That's pretty bad. I've got to coach that. And they had tape over their earrings. Uh, you can't play with tape over the earrings, but my God, I'll put that on my job duties right now. And I think I've got other people around me too that should have figured that out. But I'll have to. I'll put that on my job description next time. Anything else for Coach? Appreciate the national attendance. I appreciate Connecticut, what they've done for this program. And I hope you all had a chance to see what that next, next level is all about. And hopefully we aspire to get back there ourselves. But right now we got a long way to go. Come back Tuesday night and hopefully you'll see an improved product. Don't worry about the final score, win or lose, but hopefully we'll be a little bit better and improved because we're going to work at it every day. Thank you all. Thank you.